Welcome to the Full Length Reaction. We are watching Band of Brothers episode 2 today and I initially was like, I don't know how often I'm going to be able to drop this. <laughs> but there were other comments that were essentially saying you can just drop the other stuff and do this. <laughs> so I'm going to try to still do the other stuff as well, but I am going to squeeze this in. Well, let's just jump into the episode. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen people. So when the plane started to get hit, Pollock gives me the green light. I'm out the door. Got such an opening blast from the, the opening shot. It broke this chin strap that we had on this helmet line. In any direction you went, there would be enemy. You knew it. Mentally, each man must do that himself to make that jump. Yeah, In the back of your mind, you, you, you know, you, you've been trained and trained and trained. And what, you, what your job is going to be, we lost a lot of people that night. Oh, from the get-go. You try to put it all out of your mind. Mm. Okay, so I guess episode two is not still part of the setup. Now I feel sad already. That's wrong. Mm. That's such a gentle look. Mm. Ooh wee. He's one. Okay. You go in, you go out first. Oh, oh heck no. Do the drivers get a parachute? Or drivers the, the, the pilots? Oh. I don't want to watch this anymore. Oh my god. My palms are so sweaty already. I don't know how I'm gonna continue this. I'm so stressed out. I already feel like crying. Oh my god. What, what, what? That's the correct reply, Trooper. Thunder, sir. I know, I'd be shaking and... Coach? Sir, it's Hall, sir. I was on the basketball team. Leg back. Land us somewhere behind those trees. Follow me. Hell yeah. Aren't you D Company? Able, sir. Guess that means one of us is in the wrong drop zone, huh, sir. Um... Yeah. Do you have a weapon, sir? Here's my knife. Oh. So you're a radio man. Well, I was until I lost my radio on the jump. Oh. I'm sure I'll get chewed out for that. I tell you, you were a rifle man first, radio man second. Well, maybe you could tell that to my platoon leader. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You send the winners? Is that you? <laughs> I just want to cry already. I'm just so stressed out for them. So I signed back that way. Okay, good. It's Sam Merrick Lee's. And they're like, wait, whoa. Ah. We're about seven kilometers away from our objective. I'm four hours away from my minute to have it secured. You might not stick with us until we find your unit. Five of us ain't gonna secure the road. Then we don't even have a weapon. Probably a friggin' train or shh. Thunder. Any sound, I'm just like. <laughs> I I don't like when the shaky cam. I'm like, what's gonna happen? We already. Wait for my command. Oh. 
Oh, horsies, horsies, horsies. I say wait for my command. You wait for my command, I know, he, I, I, Yeah, I was like, dude. Yes, sir. He just... Fine, right, Quaker. What's that guy's problem? Gonorrhea. <laughs> really? His name, dummy. Garnier. Gonorrhea, get it? You see him? He just sat there. He didn't have a weapon. What do you, what do you want him to do? Him? Yeah, Except exactly. Killing Krauts. Joe, he don't even drink. So what? You don't know his history. Maybe he has a drinking problem. Or maybe he had, I should say. I'm just Team Winters. I'm sorry, guys. What happened here? Wait. Aww. And the cows. <gasps> Can we cut him down? Anybody need supplies or ammo? Now's the time to get it. I thought we were gonna cut him down. <gasps> His leg! Uh -oh. The landings have started. Let's go. Right on time. Yeah, tell that to him, cowboy. Just gotta realize it ain't about you. I just heard his brother. Hello, he shut your yap. Brother got it at a casino. Found out before we jumped. The challenge sure will be happy to see you guys. Where? Where are you from, son? Eugene, Oregon. Papa, did you hear this? I'm from Astoria. Orange Street. What gives? What are you doing in a kraut uniform? Volksdeutsche. My family answered the call. All true Aryans should return to the fatherland. Stop fraternizing with the enemy! Get over here! I was born, Eugene. <laughs> I have so many emotions about that, and I can't even get it out, because I'm so... Oh, oh my god. All of this. What's going on? What's the hold up? Not sure. 90% of the men are still unaccounted for. Lieutenant Mia? No one's seen him. Or anyone from this plane. Wouldn't that put you in line to be the next commander of Easy? What are the chances of that, huh? You and me, 100 miles from each other, working to practice the same job. I'll see you around. Yeah. Cigarette? How does he know how to say cigarette in, 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 in German? wants Easy Company CO up front. Well, I guess that means you, Dick. Now, they're right between us and Causeway number two. Firing onto the boys landing at Utah. Think Easy can handle it? Yes, sir. The ADH we've been hey, hearing hey, 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 hey. have been spotted in a field. Major Strayer wants to take him out. The Germans are in the trenches. We'll establish a base of fire and move under it hard and fast with two squads of three. We'll take some TNT along with us to spike the guns. All right, let's pack it up, boys. Ooh, break. Shouldn't you be outside with the other Able Company guys? Why, 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 why the hate him? I was wondering, sir, you need an extra hand? Lorraine, sir. You're with me, Lorraine. All right, you heard the word. Let's move, let's move. Three cannons. All right, let's go. We stay down. MG-42s. Right. I'll draw their fire to the right from the truck. Take Ranny, envelop right, give covering fire. Right, on a machine gun. Look at him though, like just taking charge and like Quaker who? Come on. I can't see nothing. Oh dang. Wow. Wow, that was fast. when they're shooting at him. Okay, is his back okay? 
How bad is it? I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to fuck up. I don't, I don't think it's too bad. All right, here we go. Okay. Drop your weapon, Pop. Drop your... I can't even talk. I, I forgot that I was even reacting for a moment. I I I, I can't talk. I'm just so worried about. No, 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 this is too close. I don't want to see this. Must be doing something right. Look. God, I'm so confused. They're firing on the third gun. We better blow this thing before they figure out what the hell has happened. I think one of those dead crowds has a loser. Jesus Christ. <gasps> Christ, they must think he's a medic or something. <laughs> I feel like I'm having a panic attack. Oh, yeah. right, Popeye. You think this is a ticket home? Maybe. Shit, I just got here. Hiya, cowboy! Shut your fucking guinea trap, gonorrhea. <laughs> I can't deal with them. What to do? I'm gonna need help in the comments to like, because <laughs> I I don't understand the military lingo or like what they do to help tactically. Dick, you got enough to take the third gun? We'll soon find out, Dick. Malaki, let's go. My heart is just racing. I, if I put my Apple Watch right now. <gasps> <gasps> Are they breaking it, or are they actually shoot? Like, I... Are you okay? It's okay? Oh, no. It's our first... Oh, my gosh. So they were breaking it. not 88, sir. We disabled them and pulled out. Hey, Popeye. Watch it. Coming through. 40. We killed maybe around 20, so... Yeah, probably there's 40 left. Whoa. Sir. Careful. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at the red road. By nightfall, 2nd Battalion had secured St. Marie Dumont. Most of the 101st Airborne, including Easy Company, was still scattered all over Normandy. Mm. The success of the invasion was far from certain. I hold you to about cooking your Irish. Sir, if you have a reservation someplace well, else, I'd be happy to go with you. You use what you can. Good <laughs> evening. Any word on Lieutenant Mann yet, sir? No, not yet. Yeah, uh, they uh, don't know how they're they gonna make it. Officer, sir? Yeah, it does. Sir, I'm John, Lieutenant, don't drink. It's been a day of first. Is that what everyone's gonna take as like a, well, he's one of us? Yes, sir. Oh! Right, sir. Oh, Sergeant, I'm not a Quaker. <laughs> Even like the County is probably a Mennonite. Mennonite. Oh, come on. You know, I'm from PA, right? <laughs> hey, you know that map you found? That had every crowd gun in Normandy on it. Mm. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Good find. I lost a man today. Thanks. A John Hall, New Yorker. Uh, I never knew him. Yeah, you did? Radio Op, 506 basketball team, Able Company. It's a good man. I need old enough to buy a beer. Sent that map up to division. I 
think it's gonna do some good. Yeah, I know it still doesn't really take away from what he's feeling, but... That night I took time to thank God for seeing me through that day of days. And if somehow I managed to get a home, please tell I me he gets God to go home again. That I would find a quiet piece of land someplace and spend the rest of my life in peace. No. Oh. Popeye. That was the end of episode one. Oh, sorry, that was the end of episode two. So many thoughts that I have about this episode. The scene where we saw um, the German guy who was from the same city as the other guy, that just really made me think, you know, here it's easy to just be like, they're the enemy, we have to get them. But in the end of the day, like when it gets murky you know thinking about well technically he's american he they literally could have been friends you know like they grew up in that same time they could have been friends but just because of these circumstances they have to go against each other um kind of like with the korean war you know when north and south korea went to war you could have had family on one side and the other, you know like i'm no historian i can't really say what's right or wrong it's just so tragic to see people dying over maybe things they don't necessarily believe in maybe it is something that they believe in like i don't i can't say what's right or what's wrong to you know to us it's a random person but if that was his friend that he actually grew up with then he would have been devastated so it's just so easy to label them as bad but when you actually start thinking about people as people you know not just a random person that that you will make into this monster it makes this whole war so tragic you know i don't know how i'm gonna make it through this series this episode i'm surprised i didn't cry i really held my tears back there were several moments that just got me like really emotional starting from the very beginning scene when they jumped out of the planes uh this this show is really intense and i really feel for lieutenant uh for winters who you know lost uh his first man today i am glad we got that final breakthrough in the end where winter's like i'm not a quaker and he took a little sip <laughs> so hopefully from here on maybe that wall is just broken a little bit we can kind of start to see each other as people as friends as you know not just a random person that you have to follow whatever when you humanize someone when you put them into that context then it changes how you you see and how you act so again that's what makes this show really hard and i think they did a really good job by adding that little random detail of that german guy it, it's just such a gray area this might be a view that's not popular at all maybe you'll just say nope all germans are bad or oh, nope all uh everyone during that time is your enemy no matter what but then again if that was your brother like let's just say for instance that like he chose to stay and then he sees his father in a german uniform and he's ordered to kill him like oh anyway that's probably not even really a necessary part to harp on <laughs> with this episode because there was so much more that happened but i see that my camera is um about to die first word that i think of when i think of episode two random but horses like that also just really affected me <laughs> when when they just sh like seeing uh, see the animals during wars also just uh, another sad tragic aspect of war that like i i man i i was just really sad thumbs up or thumbs down well this i don't even know how to rate this because this episode i was so anxious the whole time and worried episode one was like i was fine this is all set up i was it took me through emotions, but like nothing so deep as this episode here when they were jumping out, when planes were like blowing up in the air. Um, you're seeing people like dying right in front of you. It was so intense. So like, how do you give thumbs up to that? It was very well done and very thought provoking. So in that sense, you know, it could be a thumbs up, <laughs> but I, I, 
no one like I don't like seeing, you know, all this craziness. So hooey. It was very intense. And predictions. I don't wanna make predictions because I don't wanna get my heart broken. I just pray that we don't lose that many people and then I hope Winters makes it to the end as well. I hope we get to see the scene of Winters in his quiet piece of land where he can live out a nice calm life after all of this. Anyway, a uh, full length reaction will be available on Patreon. Make sure you uh, check it out if you would like to get early access or full length reactions. Check out my Discord. We do game nights, we do DD one shots, and other tabletop RPGs. Also, we just started Minecraft, so <laughs> that's going to be fun. If you want to join the realm or if you just want to hang out with us, whatever, make sure you drop by there. And I also want to say thank you to my Patreon members. I'm not sure if I said that already, but I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.